Hey my Tauruses and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is your August energy reading, okay? So for Taurus, wherever you have that in your chart, this is for you. Also, cross watchers are welcome here, okay? Uh, just please keep in mind, it's a very general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, and the entire message might not resonate. So be sure that you tune in through the entire message so you can pick up on the little bits and pieces that resonate with the situation, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. Pull some cards from the fortune teller oracle deck here, okay? Make sure everything is up right before I start. Um, like the video, you guys. Go ahead and comment. I comment back. Share, subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is turned on so you're made aware of when I upload new videos, okay? And if you would like to book a personal reading experience with me, you can check out the description box below so that you can um, get all the information on how to schedule one, okay? So let's see. It's crazy. I saw this unexpected income card um, just now while I was shuffling. So it came out in the heart of your reading. Let's pull one more. You could be getting some sort of unexpected income or some income that is due to you or money that is due to you. Maybe it's coming through this month for you guys. Okay. Um, or even like a business opportunity. It kind of feels like um, something about a loan. Okay. A lender and a loan or something dealing with like banking or exchanging of um of money or goods with someone as well okay let's see Taurus what else do we have for August for you guys what's going on give us one more card spirit what's going on all right so that was the imprisonment card but it flipped back in um, so you could be feeling trapped in some sort of way here or stuck, right? So we have message of concern Ooh, and child at the bottom of the deck. So the first card out is marriage. Then we have thoughts in the middle of the reading, unexpected income, courtship, and then message of concern, child at the bottom of the deck. Um, so interesting. It kind of feels like it's two different relationship dynamics ha happening here because you have marriage, but you also have courtship. So either there's two different relationships that that's happening some of you guys could be married um and have like some sort of mistress or it's just two different relationships or maybe some sort of relationship is um is going from like this higher level of commitment and kind of um decreasing or something about the energy is like fading here it's like it's going to a different level but it's not elevating it's descending okay so, hmm, thoughts and unexpected income, whatever it is, you definitely have your mind set on someone here, okay? So if you're a, um, a masculine Taurus watching this, then it seems like you have, you're thinking heavily about some sort of feminine energy. You could be thinking about um, commitment or marriage or the longevity of a certain relationship here. Or if you're the feminine energy, if you're a feminine Taurus watching me, um, this is somebody thinking that way about you, Okay um money is something about money here okay maybe you are trying to um obtain some sort of money so that you can court someone or date someone um properly maybe you want to lead this to marriage okay uh but there is this message of concern and then there's a child in the picture so you could have children all right or maybe this is just someone um like a um I was going to say a stepchild, but like a um, like a godchild or something like that, okay? It kind of seems like this is um, the topic of the entire message for you guys. Let's see. Cornucopia is at the bottom of the deck, and then we have anxiety. So I did pre-shuffle these, these cards. You guys are kind of like anxious or worried about your happiness and then the temple path, okay? If you're on the right path or maybe where your path is headed or where you are headed in a situation. Let's see. What do we have for my Taurus's spirit? What's this marriage card for my Taurus's? What's marriage for my Taurus's spirit? What's going on? There's an older woman showing up here. I always feel like 
I mean, it feels like this gentleman is thinking of like a significant other, but for some reason, every time I look at this painting, this woman looks like she could be an older woman. So maybe you're thinking about an older woman, but I always get grandmother vibes from this, um, this card here. So that could be significant for somebody. Let's see, what is marriage for my Taurus? What's going on, spirit? Marriage. Maybe there's a delay in a marriage. Some of you guys could be, um, you could be engaged. It feels like a delay. Marriage. Okay, so we got the heart chakra and we got the strength card. So something's going on um, with your emotions, your heart in regards to a relationship. It feels like you guys are trying to be strong here. Okay, the strength card is the card of Leo or Virgo as well. And then we got the thinking man. Yeah, like you're all in your head here. You got thoughts and you got the thinking man. You're thinking about somebody here, right? Or maybe taking things to the next level, okay? Or something about like opening up your heart or opening up your heart chakra or the need to, okay? What's thoughts for Taurus? What's going on? Some of you guys could already be married, right? And maybe there's a test in your marriage, Okay, it kind of feels like something's going on with someone's heart chakra. Like maybe they're not open. Um, I don't know. Let's see. What's thoughts? So we got the man holding the coin. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, but this is also finances, money. It's kind of like money is surrounding your reading here. Okay. Um, or money has a lot to do with like you dating or you being in a relationship or marriage. Maybe you're having money issues or something like that. Okay, now we got the broken heart here, right? We have unexpected income and then broken heart. Okay, so maybe um, this heart is kind of, it's a broken heart, but it's like mending back together or trying to mend itself back together. Coming out with unexpected income. Maybe you're trying to like mend your finances or something like that. All right, so let's see. What's courtship for my Tauruses? What's courtship spirit? The thinking man came right back out here and blossoming abundance. Hold on one second, you guys. All right, sorry about that, you guys. Had a slight interruption, but um, I was saying with courtship, you have the thinking man and blossoming abundance, okay? So um, air energy, you guys could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somewhere heavily aspected in your chart, but you're thinking about dating someone or this courtship or this relationship, okay? Maybe um, how you can improve it or if it's going to work out with this blossoming abundance card, Okay, you're also viewing a relationship dynamic as very happy, as very abundant here, okay? But you're just really in your head about it. Then we have the Magician card at the bottom of the deck. So it kind of feels like you want to take some sort of action here. Then we have woman holding a heart, okay? So you could be holding back or someone could be holding back for you, Taurus. Let's see. What's message of concern, spirit, for my Tauruses? What's going on? Message of concern. What's going on in August? All right, so what is this? Door to Spirit. This is also a message for me because there is a bird here. There's a dove. So a white dove, okay, or doves, you know, could be significant for somebody watching this. Um, but somebody's getting a message here. Either it's you or you're giving a message. It kind of feels like something is opening up, like some sort of opportunity. We have the fifth chakra at the bottom of the deck, right? This is your throat chakra. So your heart and your throat chakra are both showing up here. Four and five, something about 45, 54. Um, but this usually indicates that there is something that is not being said, like a lack of communication. So that could be you or it could be mutual and whatever the situation is for you, okay? Maybe there is or there was a lack of communication and then all of a sudden there's just some sort of message or news that's coming out here, okay? So let's see, man holding a heart and then the first chakra behind that. Let's get into the tarot cards, see what's going on for you guys. World card at the bottom of the deck, okay? I pre-shuffled like always. This is about a cycle, okay? Closing out, something's changing, okay? Or something's possibly coming full circle for some of you guys. Let's see. You got a bunch of cards coming out here. What is, what is this heart chakra? What's going on with the heart chakra for my Tauruses with the angel of strength? Wow, Taurus, y'all came right out here. So 
this is the Hierophant. This is your card, the card of Taurus. Um, this is also like an official person, okay? Somebody who is very strong, somebody who is very dominant, somebody who is very spiritually in tune. So maybe you are trying to work on becoming your your highest self, your higher self, the Hierophant, okay? Um, and I put these, as I put these cards down, we have the High Priestess. That's crazy. This is your counterpart. So not only do we have marriage, we have courtship, and we have Hierophant and High Priestess. Also somebody who is very... Um, spiritual and intuitive the high priestess holds a lot of secrets or some people might view her as secretive uh, but it's just within her nature okay and then at the bottom of the deck we have five of pentacles all right so this is the energy of change of feeling left out in the cold something concerning a home dynamic as well so you could be feeling that way in regards to a marriage or a relationship what else do we have for um taurus what is this fourth chakra What's going on with this Hierophant? Ten of Pentacles, a home dynamic. This is like the ideal lifestyle, right? Happy home, happy life, happy wife, property, um, kids, grandkids here, grandparents. It's a lot of green showing up in these cards, okay? Um, emerald, I think, matter of fact, that's you guys' birthstone, right? Something about the color green. Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is somebody that you have a past with, okay? This is somebody you think about often and then Wheel of Fortune possibly thinking about how to make this work out in your favor or um, if things are going to work out or not possibly. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck, but at the same time, you guys are very defensive towards this or you have some sort of guards up. Some of you guys are waiting to hear, um, some of you guys are waiting to hear a message or waiting to hear for someone with that Page of Wands showing up. What's this man holding a coin? Wow, what the hell? So we got the four of wands here. High priestess, higher font, marriage card, courtship card, and then the four of wands. This is a relationship. There's something going on with your relationships. It feels like it's more than one relationship. Um, it feels like some of you guys are watching this are in more than one relationship or you're dating multiple people okay this five of pentacles um keep showing up at the bottom of the deck so something's going on with a home situation um or the lack of a home possibly let's see what's this four of wands aries leo sagittarius could also be significant okay you could be thinking about this fire sign for some of you guys thinking about a relationship with this fire sign but it looks like you're already in a commitment or you're already in a marriage or somebody here it's it's a lot of different people, a lot of different energies showing up here in this reading. Wow. Okay. So the high priestess came right back out. First, we have the nine of cups, then the high priestess, then the ace of wands, then the two of wands. So you want to manifest, you're viewing somebody as wish fulfillment, right? Could be a Pisces, could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but it's like you're wanting to manifest with this person or maybe just maybe just sexually because the ace of wands is like a very sexual card right but you're indecisive because you have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck so you're stuck in between the two um whether this is people or a decision or some something here it's a lot of confusion so let's see the broken heart we got the nine of wands what else with the broken heart spirit what the y'all energy is all over the place we got the two of cups and the king of swords this is the one, two, three, four. This is the fifth card talking about relationships here. This is a soulmate connection, okay? So maybe it's someone is defensive towards you, okay? King of Swords, but it feels like you are like, you're the same. It kind of feels like you're upset with someone possibly or not talking to them or you're just very much so standing your ground or kind of in like that stubborn towards energy with this King of Swords, or maybe you've made up your mind about a situation, six of swords, strength card, right? So trying to find the strength, trying to get yourself out of whatever's going on here. What's this thinking man? Thinking man with the courtship card. What's going on, spirit? Queen of Cups, six of pentacles. Okay, let's get one more. One more for my Tauruses. The hermit card. So you guys could be feeling like you could be in hermit mode, very much so just isolated, not wanting to um, be social, kind of doing some inner work, reflecting on the situation or possibly reflecting on either you gave too much in a situation or you took too much in a situation. There's not um, a balance of people of um, 
reciprocating energy here. It could be in relation to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who is just very um, motherly and nurturing. It feels like whoever this person is gave a lot here and you're thinking about it. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you have a lot of passion for whoever this person is. What's this Blossoming Abundance? Blossoming Abundance and Door to Spirit. What's going on with this energy for Taurus? Oh, that was the Devil card. It did not flip out, but I saw it. So that could be um, a Capricorn or a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We got the Page of Cups, right? All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's also an energy of somebody taking. So maybe somebody, it just feels like there's not a balance or there wasn't a balance here. Somebody was just taking, 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 and the other person was giving. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. That's my secure the back card or just security, wanting to heal something and protect something. Then the star card, Aquarius energy, and this is healing as well. Message of concern. It's, I really can't get out the message here. It says message of concern, protecting and healing. It's almost as if you want to um, like regenerate something or bring something back to life. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is a grand opportunity, a offer, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn behind that, nine of pentacles behind that, the four of pentacles. So heavy earth showing up in your chart. You can have a lot of earth um, outside of Taurus in your chart, or you could be dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But that gives me the ten of pentacles, right? Breaks down to a one, gives me four plus one, five of pentacles. You keep coming back to this five of pentacles energy, which is basically you kind of feeling like left out in the cold or, um, or isolated or just not a very, like not included or not inclusive or something like that. Okay. So let's see. I see courage. I see love. We're going to wrap up the reading you guys with one of these messages. Um, the intention is to pull one card, but honestly, this deck is really thick and more than one card is bound to come out. But let's see. What other messages do we have for my Taurus for the month of August spirit? Possibly any advice or anything they need to know what's going on with my Tauruses. See if we can get one card. We got purity. Okay. So do I want to take all of these? I'll take all of these. So purity is the first one that pops over, right? So we have purity here. Okay, we have going forward. All right, we have action. So maybe something about authentic authenticity or um, transparency is also what I'm getting. Choosing to be transparent going forward or wanting to action, taking some sort of action here. Um, we also have the new beginnings card as well, right? And then we have embracing and we have change. So something is transforming. It's a lot of different people showing up in this reading, Taurus. Um, something about embracing change. Taurus is a very like fixed, um, stubborn sign. So maybe that's an issue for you, embracing change. I don't know. Let me see. And trust. Trust is at the bottom of the deck. So maybe trust is an issue here as well. Um, but I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. If this is your message, please leave me a comment below letting me know how. And I will see you next.